big bit of RC. In this video, um, we're going to carry on with the carbon fibre chassis installation and popping the arms on. Put the centre brace back on. I've all I've done in this video different than um, where I ended the last one was. I've put the two screws at either end there and the dry shaft back in. Um, just for the time being, the dry shaft's getting changed to a metal one. So, we're, uh, oh, and we're going to fit the steering arms. Um, there's a knack to this, fitting these, because it comes with these little washers here. Um, and all metal bars. A bit confused at the beginning, but I worked it out in the end. Um, rocking the new Big Beard t shirt. Um, that I had made. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, flip over to the overhead view camera and we'll get at this installation. Hope you're all well. Hope you're doing doing good out there. Um, yeah, so let's waffle. We'll get back onto that. So um, here we go. Big bit RC back in the workshop. So we're going to try and fit the A arms to the A979 carbon chassis. And we're going to pop the new motor mount on because this is the A979, not the B. So um, it has a 380 motor, not a 540. So I've ordered the correct motor mount. Um, quickest I could get was the blue. Uh, the other ones are a lot longer delivery. Um, one thing I want to point out though, uh, while we're building this up and putting the centre shaft on, is when you buy this carbon fibre chassis or the metal chassis it comes with these lugs that replace a long screw that goes through through this hole here and here through the top and then there's a nut that sits on the top which you'll see in the dismantling video um, now with the upgraded chassis it doesn't have that system so you have to screw these on from underneath and then what happens is now it took me a while to fathom it out but it actually just sits in there like so and I wanted to point it out to you because obviously it pickled my head for a little bit as to where everything went and when I worked out I was but annoyed at myself that it took me that long to realise. But you know, we're only human, so that's it. So yeah, so we're gonna pop this centre brace on our top plate or whatever you want to call it. Everybody has different names for it. Um bear with me a second. I'm in my new workshop that I've just finished today. To try and um, just um, get me out of the kitchen. <laughs> well, the, the kitchen, the dining room, should I say. Um, oh, that's what I need to. Need to pop the metal plate back on um, under here for the bearing. Um, need to get a small screwdriver as well. With that, it's too big. Um, let's have a look. I want to see if that's better. Um, so what we do is, we'll put this on there. And the bearing. Keeps the bearing from popping out. It is the same as the bottom, so it has a lip on it. Um, I'll show you. I did drop it, you're right, but I'll show you. It's got a lip on the inside. And that, obviously... So it's I'm all fingers and thumbs tonight. It's not going well. Um, oh, I do apologise. We'll get there. 
this. I'm wrecking the place. Um, just finding everything, getting everything right that's in here, making sure can work properly, lighting's good. Um, hopefully, it'll be a better for you guys as well with the, the better lighting camera angle um, just have to screw the longest screw in the world in here which is ridiculous long don't understand why it's that long so hope you're all well out there um, you may notice that this workshop isn't in my dining room and the start of the video was in my dining room what happened was um, halfway through filming my phone shut down so I did stop the video and well, well, well I stopped it when I realised so I put everything back to how it was and then with me doing the the painting in here and getting the table the bench set up and everything here my tools are here got some lots out here and some bits and bats and I've got um, Allen keys and whatnot I've got my full um, toolbox behind me just in case I needed anything that isn't here um, which is always good to have. So the steering arm's on here, so as you can see. So what we're going to try and do now is we're going to try and pop these these arms on to the rear and the front. I think I'm correct in saying. Let me double check those wrong don't think I am I think they're the rears yeah and they're the fronts definitely so what we need to do is we need to pop that on something to get the height yep that'll do so we can do it like that you can do the two front screws of the front bumper that I won't put back in beforehand like I did in the other video. Made that mistake once, but we'll make it again. But we're only human, so let's see. So we're going to pull that out of there. We're going to try and pull this arm out, remove this little bearing, put the arm in, if we can get it in, without taking everything off, like so, now I've never done, never put them back on, um, so you may have to bear with me, it's a little bit um, of a pain in the ass, holding things, Right, not the, there we go, there's one. So, let's spin it round. Notice my nice California scent air freshener there. Second in up as a car mount. I've got a um, proper car stand on order, but it seems to be taking forever to get here. Open it turns up soon make life easier. Just spin the car around and do everything else. It'll be should make working on them a lot easier. Oh he's put it on the wrong way. But you're in the you're looking there going it's the wrong way, it's the wrong way. And yeah it's the wrong way. So what you don't do put it on the wrong way. 
so. Drop anything. Quick, get it on before we do. Right, so right, that's on there. They're moving freely. That's good. That's good. Let's see if we can get these screws in without too much drama. So looking forward to getting everything fitted into this and getting it going. I've now received my ESCs. And the motor for this so really happy i'm gonna hopefully get this running um got some new ones then so i think i'm taking this front bumper off putting the rear on the, the rear on the front to get rid of the front bumper because i don't need it it serves no purpose so right let's put these the right way for now so that we hopefully we don't put them on the wrong way. Okay. So same way, slot the arm in, lean it up, and wash her on. Up with these things without so tiny. Right, so that's one in. Carefully spin it round so we don't knock the other one out. Pull the other pin out. Pull the bearing off. Make sure it's the right way. So, my idea as well is, if anybody's interested, is I want to do a sticker. I've seen a few people doing sticker walls. Um, RC Voodoo just kindly put my sticker up on his wall. So, in this space here and where it's white behind, I want to put people's stickers. So, if you have a sticker to send, um, drop me an email. Or contact me through Facebook, Big Bear RC, and I can get one of your stickers, hopefully, on the workbench. Which I think would be pretty cool. So I'll try and get some stickers on here, maybe on here. Got my fat body sticker just here. Um, big shout out to them guys again. The Simon. Fat Bodies is a lovely chap, always uh, responds to your messages really, really quick as well. Um, I've just seen the painting videos, he supplied me with a few bodies and um, I actually ordered the car to build my Mini now, so that, that'll be another one coming up. We've got some interesting builds coming up in the next few weeks. All right, so... The arms are on. Like that. Yeah, they're all moving. That one's snagging slightly, but nothing major because when the suspension's on, it's moving freely enough. Uh, Say on the front. So that's good. Right, so this needs to go on here. So I was thinking changing the screws to Allen keys but I don't think I've got any screws long enough to go through now I am gonna fit it hmm, they may do um, I'm gonna fit it briefly I'm not gonna put um, 
Yeah, that's got a good grip on it. Yeah. I'm not going to put any Loctite on it at this moment in time. Reason being, I haven't fitted the mower. Now, if I fit the motor, if I fit the Loctite, and then I've got to fit the motor, then it isn't going to work, is it? I'm going to have to heat it up to get it off. And I'm not quite sure that this chassis would take heat very well. With being carbon fibre, I don't think it would do. Um, so I don't want to take that risk. So any bolt that I can, I'm going to change to Allen keys. For obvious reasons. The a lot better quality, they don't strip as easy as the Phillips heads. So, I'm going to temporarily fit this mount. Now, there is movement in it to move it from side to side uh, in these, these slots. You can back these out. Take the slack off, and then this can move a tiny little bit to get it straight to make sure your meshing's good. Um, like I say, I'm not overly concerned at the moment with it fitting right because. I haven't got the motor to go in yet and the gearing on this isn't the right one um this is the a gearing i'm putting the b gearing in um hopefully tomorrow's post it should be here my gearing and my new suspension and arm uh, hubs shot towers and uh metal plate here metal dry shaft i've already got um that's that's here so i've got the gears um they come with the gears but obviously they're just too small as the the motor i won't show you what motor is because it's for me to know but you will find out eventually so got a nice surpass hobby motor here to go in um got a big old hobby wing esc to go in as well um we've got servo new servo to go in um these are all on my next videos we fit in i've got them in there um i've got quite i've got a, a lovely box full of goodies for this build there but it's obviously not going to all get used tonight um yeah so this video was more to obviously try out this new workshop and new camera angles and work out if everything's okay um and obviously for the the arms and the the engine mount, the motor, engine motor mount whatever you want to call it um gonna do some more videos this week on this getting it getting it ready getting it prepared um there's a slight I'm notching on that but i think it's the actual plastic spur gear that's um reduction gear it's catching slightly against the um chassis when it's it's warped so it when it goes like that it's catching um so when i put the metal ones on it should should get rid of that if not we're going to investigate why that is is catching so yes i have put these on um and i'm gonna to have to take them off but i want to make sure everything fits nicely um it's looking more and more like a and i was a 979 they got some some nice 110 hub conversion kit to go on uh to fit the contact forms got an array of um hexes to go on to try um, we've got quite a lot going on on this build up. I'm, I'm hoping that this is going to be a, a beast when it's finished. Um, we'll, we'll have to see, obviously. 
if it's going to compete with any of any of the others but it at the moment yeah it's good um i'm just waffling now so i'm gonna end the video uh if you like what you see like and subscribe i've um, got plenty of builds coming up um like i say i've got a one one four four zero zero one build coming up in next few weeks we've got this a979 turning into a speed run coming up we've got runs with my one four four zero to one speed run car and we've got some more bashing videos coming with the one four four zero zero one uh, I have placed my order for the new WL toys so hopefully that'll be here in the not too distant future just gotta wait for it to be shipped and delivered and then obviously can start some interesting builds with that so yeah thanks for watching check out some of my other videos take care everyone